Hey, welcome back to Rogue Tech. Um, we've repaired our mechs and we're prepared to do another couple missions here. We've got a couple, little bit of time before the end of the month. We have two trebuchets that um, are not our frontline mechs. These are the ones that we've captured over the past little while. We're just getting them fixed up. But we're going to pull off a quick mission right now. We're going to do a mission for House Merrick. Um, we've been pulling a lot of missions against them recently and I think we want to get some good faith with them so we're gonna do a, a, a mission for for them I think we're gonna take this decapitation mission we're looking for, we're still looking for some good salvage here so um, I think we're guaranteed at well let's maybe raiding party might be a better idea it's a battle in the desert uh, yeah I think we're gonna move against the pirate lance here instead it's three skulls chances are we're gonna engage in some heavy mechs here we're still trying to complete a few heavy mechs so let's have a look at this here we have detected an inbound dropship belonging to the local pirate organization. Our local defense forces in the expected drop area are ill-equipped to handle lance of mechs, but with your aid we can ensure that the raid does minimal damage. We'd like you to intercept the pirate lance and destroy it. So we're certainly going to do that. Let's hope it does end up with just being one lance. If not, it might be a little more, but uh, let's negotiate this sucker. We're going to go for full salvage because we're looking for heavy mechs. So let's accept this. And we need to switch out our uh, pirate lance at the moment, which just ran a mission a little while ago, picking us picking us up some parts. We found a, a few more parts of the uh, KF drive we're looking for, which is good. So Wolverine down in here. So we've refitted the Wolverine and the Hunchback since the last time. The Hunchback we've we added the Ultra Auto Cannon uh, Auto Cannon 10, and the Wolverine we switched the ammo around in the SRMs to being um, regular SRM ammo so we've got the TTS Artemis in there now too and then we've got um, everything else pretty much the same we've upgraded I think was it? we have, I think we added a medium laser I can't remember but uh, yeah we so we've upgraded this slightly so that should be a little better so let's bring our mech warriors down here so flatliner we're gonna get height in here let's actually switch these two around so that we're in the same order where all we always are Ground zero on there, Vane Skater in on the Hunchback, and let's deploy. Let's hope Vane Skater does a better job with the uh, Auto Cannon 10 here. Alright, so here we go. Four mechs on the ground. Gotta move forward and engage these guys. I'm really hoping that they don't have reinforcements. Chances are they might up in this hill here. Uh, they look pretty spread out. We only spot two right now. Hoping for heavy max. They are both heavy max. Excellent. So we're going to do. Um, let's reserve right back to turn one. See if they can see us and see if they move. Yeah. So here we go. He's a 55 tonner. A 60 tonner. And what's this guy? A 70. So we're hoping for Warhammer parts. Waiting for the right play. We'll take Warhammer parts. Quick draw parts, even. I think we've got a bunch of quick draw parts. Cataract parts. Um, catapult parts, even. So we're going to move, hmm, interesting. I'm thinking we're going to move, can we see that 70 tonner if we move on that direction here? We can't. We can see these guys if we move this way. So do we want to take these guys first? I think so. Let's move down here. So what do we got here? Wolverine clan. Ooh, we have Wolverine clan parts. Hmm, two ATM nines, that's not good. And Grand Dragon. Not sure if we have any Grand Dragon parts. So what's one which one is better to hit? Let's go after the Grand Dragon. Got it. So one hit. Let's bring Order. Flatliner around. We can get into the uh, mineral field here. It's reducing our chance to hit, but it also reduces their chance to hit too, so that's what we want. Um, don't want to overheat too much. Let's fire this off. Not sure why we're getting all this lag here. Okay. Van Skater. Let's see what, do we can, what we can do with this Ultra Ultra 10 down here. So let's get in. Going to leave the rocket launchers off, I think. Going to save those for a chance for a headshot. Let's fire this, see what we get. One hit, okay. Better than missing completely with the uh, what are your orders, Skipper? Goss rifle. So where can we see him? That's right up here, I think. Can we hit the dragon? We can from here. 
So we're going to send a fire the two lasers. Wolverine will be down in the battle in a second here. Let's fire these two off. Ugh. Not doing so well here. No love on that strike. No love at all. Okay, we go first anyway, so that's fine. So let's move forward. Um, get out of the mineral field. I know it's easier for them to hit me, but it's also easier for me to hit them. Let's unload with PPCs on this guy. So he's not having a good day. Looks like it might just be these three. So we're going to try and maximize salvage against that uh, clan Wolverine. I'm not sure what this is. If this is a Warhammer, definitely we're going to max salvage on that guy for sure. So let's try and kill this dragon before he actually gets a chance to move. So we all go before him. It's one of the reasons why I like using medium mechs against heavies, because you, you go before them and you can just apply a lot of damage and kill them fast. So this should probably do it here, I think. Ooh, pretty darn close, though. Okay, two of four. Now let's see what he's got left. See if it's a chance to... We can do it. Well, we'll core him if we hit him. Yeah, he's got, like, nothing left here. So let's do that with... Hmm. I think I want to get height to engage with this uh, other clan Wolverine here. Hmm. The SRM is definitely better chance to hit, that's for sure. So we're better from better to hit this guy from up in the hill, so let's do that. Copy that Commander. Now he's in a mineral field, so it is hard to hit him. But we're going to move up here. We're going to do an offensive push on him. I know it's a super low chance to hit, but we're just going to fire with the SRM-6 and try for a headshot here. No. But it's enough to push him back next turn. So we all go before him. Hey going to move Van Skater up into the forest here. Moving out. We're going to do a multi-target. We're going to fire the autocannon against this guy and then everything else against this guy. If we can actually target him. There we go. So that's going to be B. Just going to fire these off. Yeah, I didn't expect the auto cannons to hit. That's it for him. Okay, so the dragon's gone. Don't have to worry about him now. So now we all go before this Wolverine does. Here comes the 70 tonner. Grasshopper, okay. He's got some good movement there, eh? Let's see how unstable he is. So he's got six light PPCs. Ouch. 70 tons. Lots of armor. So... That's going to be an issue. Let's move back here. Let's make sure our back is to the wall. We don't want that uh, clan mech getting behind any of us. I'm just going to walk it over here. I think we're going to go after the grasshopper first. He's standing on the hill. It's a nice target. Just fire on him. Okay, he's tagged. So, Flatliner. Let's just step back here. Gonna go this route. Pretty safe back there. Uh, gonna unload with this stuff. No laser hit. But definitely gonna have missile hits for sure. Should be able to make him unstable. And then let's get... Ready to rock. Height. We're going to move him to here. And we will definitely unload on the Grasshopper. And I think we're going to go with everything. Okay, right arm is gone. That should maybe get close to... Oh, he's, unste he's un just unsteady now. Oof. Okay, let's get up here. Confirm. That Wolverine, I want him to jump out of that this uh, mineral field, I think, before we attack him. So we're going to fire on this guy. Roger that. Both hits. That should knock him down now. Fusion core crit. Take that. Knock down. Let's see what kind of uh, health this pilot's got. Ooh. Well, that's the end of that. Alright, now let's hope for a lot of headshots on this uh, 
Wolverine. Okay, so where is he facing now? Did you just turn your back to me? Ready for orders. You sure did. I, I don't even understand why they do that. I do not want to uh, blow this guy's back through. I want to get as many, many parts off this guy as I can. So I'm going to offensive push him. I'm going to target for the head. We've done it before. Let's see if we can do it again. Nope. Okay. Flatliner, just going to rotate. We're not even going to bother moving. There's no point. Offensive push. We still got a bit left. I'm going to fire at this guy trying for a headshot. Let's fire all this stuff here. I got a feeling we're going to have a very, very difficult time salvaging. Okay, one head hit. Nice. And we want knockdown. So how unstable is this guy here now? Little bit. I think if we hit him with the SRMs. Let's move into here. Let's just go with the SRMs. I don't want to kill him. Let's just fire the SRMs. Make him unstable enough. Okay. Nice. And then Vane Skater. Let's just walk over here. And do we have any offensive push left? We don't. But this is the point where we're going to use the rocket launchers. Leave the ultra auto, auto cannon off. And we'll just fire on him. Hopefully we get a head hit here. That might have been a head hit. Yes, it was. Nice. Now, did that knock him down? No. But we go before him. Oh, we don't. But he should be completely unstable now after jumping. wonder if he's going to fall. Come on, fall over, buddy. Pretty darn close. So all we got to do is breathe on him. So, ground zero. Uh, should we breathe on him with a PPC? The right side's pretty good. So let's just do that. Let's just fire the PPC at him. Why not? Target so he's going to fall. He's panicking. He's got one pilot point left. So let's go with height first. Get up top here. Going to fire for his head. Hopefully we get it. 12 chances. Yep, there we go. Perfect. That's a perfect mission. Excellent. Got what we came for. So now, I don't... I mean, I think we've only got like two Wolverine C parts. But still, that's a, that's excellent. Okay, 114,000. Not bad. We didn't take any internal damage. I'm just double checking to make sure I don't think I saw any. So I think we're good that way. Minor damage on our mechs. That grasshopper went down. Grand Dragon went down. We don't have any parts, but all these grasshopper parts, nice. Wolverine C parts. Yeah, we do have two, but look at them all here. So we have a good chance of of um, getting a whole bunch of them here. Unfortunately, I can't choose them, but we're going to take the ATM-9 for sure. Now, should we take the clan? Hmm. Clan heavy lasers, 33, one ton, 50 damage, 33 heat though, that's a lot of heat. Light PPCs, what else do we have down here? Clan cockpit, plus, minus 10% 10, 10 damage taken, plus 5% weapon damage. Breaching clan cockpit, clan XL engine, definitely need that. Oh, and this good exchanger. Oh, so much good stuff here. Double heat sinks, clan. I think we have the right things though. PPC capacitor. I've already got one of those. Clan Endo Steel would be nice, but that ATM is even nicer. It's five tons, twelve damage times nine at close range. Hmm. Integral Artemis Fire Control System uses LRM ammo bins. Let's take that. Let's go with this here. I think this is pretty good. Clan XL engine. Is there anything we absolutely need though? I don't think so. I think what we I think we've got it. We can buy these exchangers. So let's go this route. All right, one, two, three grasshopper pieces. One, two, three, four Wolverine C pieces. Nice. It's getting us close. We got the EI cockpit. That's excellent. And yeah, a couple of other things. All right. 
three room rack, seventeen thousand. So we did really well. Made a hundred grand on this for sure. Uh, very minimal damage. So I'm actually really pleased with that. That was actually a really good mission. So we're gonna end the episode here, even though it was a quick episode, but that you know it worked out pretty good. Um, I don't think I'm gonna change any of the loadouts that we have right now. That ATM9, I'm thinking, in we might drop that in one of the other trebuchets that we have that are still being repaired. The 6S, I think it's only got one. It's got two missile hard points. The 7K has only got one. So we might do that in the 7K. It's got two ballistic points, three laser, and one missile. So we might drop it in here in the arm and then load it up with other stuff. So haven't decided yet, but that's a possibility. But until next time, we'll see you later.